Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Skincare Saturday. So today I'll be sharing with you my first impressions review and tr demo, I don't know, of the Corel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer. So if you'd like to hear more about this moisturizer and see me apply it, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget beauty. So it can be skincare, it can be makeup, fragrance, tutorials. It really does depend on the day of the week. So make sure you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, bookmark the page. That way you can come on back and watch whenever you would like to. I also do a live stream every single day of the week. So Monday through Saturday, it is at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Sundays, it is at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come hang out, come chat with me. I really would love to get to know you. You know what I just realized sitting down here? I forgot to take my medication and I'm like 45 minutes past due. Oh well, I'll do it after I'm done. Uh, getting old sucks sometimes. Anyway. Sorry. So yeah, um, today I tried the Corel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer for the first time and it seemed totally weird to me. So what this moisturizer is, it's supposed to deeply penetrate deeper into the skin layers because you're applying it to wet skin. Um, it's you, you apply it after you um, are done in the shower or bath when your pores are still open. So once again, it just is really supposed to penetrate deeply and like absorb instantly. So let me go ahead and show you what this looks like going on. Hello. Okay. So awkward angle, but it's okay. So, um, I'm still like putting a robe on top of really wet skin is a very uncomfortable feeling. But anyway, um, here is the Curel. Um, this is the hydrotherapy wet skin moisturizer. So you put this on right on top of wet skin. So we're going to go ahead and supposed to sink in like instantly oh I don't know this is weird it's still say stay in white okay we're just gonna let it chill for a minute weird you just put it on top of wet skin. Mm. Okay, and then you're just supposed to towel dry like normal, so... Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, um, I applied this to my legs. Um, my water was still draining. You can actually hear when I'm like changing legs, you can actually hear my water splashing. I did not dry off at all um, when I was applying this. So this is water activated. So that's why it's important that you put it on right on top of wet skin. It's supposed to help repair your moisture barrier and it's supposed to immediately absorb and be greaseless. So it's been a little while since I've been out of the tub. I do have to say my legs do feel really, really soft. Um, but it was really weird putting it on, like, directly on wet skin. Um, it kind of turned, like, white, and it doesn't didn't feel like it was spreading real evenly. So, I don't know. I mean, I think anybody that has ever been into skincare or anything like that, um, you're supposed to put lotion on top of damp skin. Um, lo lotion, it's basically what lotion is, is it's supposed to, like, kind of put a protective barrier on top of your skin. And so if you put it on top of a damp skin, it's supposed to help kind of trap that moisture um, inside the skin layers. But I had never tried a wet skin moisturizer before where you literally do not dry off. You do nothing of that sort and you apply it directly onto wet skin. It felt really, really wrong. It also felt wrong because after you're done applying it, you're supposed to just towel off like normal. To be fair, I did not towel off like normal. I padded, which I'm not a padder. I'm more of a very quick like rub it you know rub the towel on but I was patting my legs um, and it felt like it was just removing the lotion so I mean do my legs feel any softer from using the Corel hydrotherapy wet skin moisturizer no um, they don't feel any softer but at the same time I don't have severely dry skin this does have really 
really good reviews online. There's some people that have like eczema or severely dry, cracked skin, and they say that this worked great for them, and they saw like an immediate difference. So I will continue to use this. Um, it is fragrance-free. Um, Corel is a little bit more of a pricey moisturizer in my opinion. Looks like this is about $9 for like a regular size bottle. This is like a travel size bottle. But it looks like for a normal size bottle it's like $9 um, on Walmart's website. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it down below. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link, but you're welcome to use it, but you definitely don't need to. But yeah, I, I'm not sure what I think about this. It's a cool product, um, and like I said, I can definitely see the uniqueness of it. I do see that if you do have severely dry skin, putting this on top of wet skin would have the potential of basically trapping more moisture into the skin because the skin's still wet instead of just being damp. But like I said, and I, I don't know if you could tell when I was drying off, um, but it just, yeah, it just felt like it was kind of like removing the moisturizer. I don't know if I used too much, but I also don't feel like it absorbed immediately. I think it would be kind of impossible for a moisturizer to like absorb immediately. I know an oil can absorb very, very quickly because um, it's thinner and the skin kind of drinks it up better. But yeah, it's not a bad product. Um, I don't think I would purchase it myself. I got this in a Walmart beauty box. I think this was in my fall beauty box. This was in my fall beauty box, um, so I don't I don't think I would purchase this personally, but I also don't have severely dry skin. Um, so, yeah, cool product, cool premise, and like I said, extremely good reviews online, but for me personally, I, I don't think this is like something that I would need in my life. Um, I know Jergens has a wet skin moisturizer. There's a ton of different companies out there that do have a wet moisturizer. So if this does sound like an interesting concept to you, you don't have to go with Corel. There are a lot of very affordable brands out there. This is the one I had. Like I said, fragrance free. It felt nice. My legs do feel very moisturized, but it didn't blow my mind. So, eh, like, do I recommend it? Yeah, only if you have extremely dry skin. Um, if you don't have extremely dry skin, I think just the regular way of putting lotion on top of damp skin after you've lightly towel dried, I think that'd be good enough for a lot of us. But yeah, I think if you have extremely dry skin, you'd probably really like a wet skin moisturizer. So there we go. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet skincare Saturday. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below as well. Have you ever tried a wet skin moisturizer? What did you think of it? Did it work for you? Did I do something wrong? Just have so many questions. So yeah, let me know down below. Um, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. Just so you know, in case you didn't, I do have another channel. It's called Gourmet on a Budget. It's all about budget food. So recipes and taste tests, little shopping hauls. I upload on that one seven days a week as well. It'll be linked down below for you. You're welcome to go follow it. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, I would. Tons. Um, don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.